today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruel for you YouTuber that are trying to have a year long no buy. And as a part of this, I have now, when it's hopefully it's turning to spring here in Sweden, to do, to use palettes that inspires me in springtime. Spring, I can leave a video up here when I talk about it. So today it's the first day that I'm going to use one of these seven palettes that I pick and I'm going to start with the Soul Blooming from Nabla. This is a 12 pan palette that was Nabla's second palette that they released. I do really really love this palette. I think it is such a good color story. This is what I know discontinued. I don't know what Nabla thought but yeah I'm going to use this today and I I think I know exactly what I want to do. So I am planning on doing a super simple look and take Bolero on my whole lid and then take Garden Gate over that and I hope it will look cool. I don't know but we will <laughs> just have to wait and see. So I'm going to take this Bolero and I've actually done Free Looks 1 palette with this palette. I think it was maybe my second Free Looks 1 palette and uh, it was a long time ago, but I can leave it up in the card. And I have done some um, palloping of this one, and I think another video, maybe. I don't know, but it's not the palette that I use that much, even though I do really like it and I think this actually was my first palette that I bought from Nabla I'm pretty sure it's now I don't know what I want to do in the crease maybe I should just have gone in with the same color in my crease but with the crease brush first but what's done is done I can do it now and maybe don't get it so pigmented in my crease and just have a nice blend. And it feels like it's going to be a lot of pink looks <laughs> on my channel right now and I usually don't like pink but it's just something. That I want to do like purple and pink right now. It's the only makeup I want to do and I don't know what has happened with me. It feels like I want something more in my crease just to like define it a little bit but I don't know it feels like this Caravaggio Italian is not a language that I speak. I feel like this maybe is going to be a little bit too dark. Maybe this middle karma will work. I will actually try it. So I will take it on the same brush. Just dip the top. Maybe this doesn't do shit. Okay. I take the Carvaggio. This one. And concentrate maybe out here. It does work. Pew. And now I got too much. Poopies. Maybe if I just blend like a crazy person. Or do you want to look good then? The time for the garden gate. This and it is like a duochrome. I don't know if you can see but it's like bluish and pink, bluish purpley pink and I will see if I can take this. I really don't remember how this is in its formula and I wonder if I can take it 
just on top or if it's going to get everywhere. No, I need it more defined. The question is how will it look if I do cut my whole lid and do a cut crease? I guess we have to try and I usually don't do like a whole cut crease. It was a long while ago. Have I ever even ever done that? Okay, this was... This was better. Hmm. And I know like the point of a cut crease is that it's going to be a cut in the crease. But I don't know if I am the biggest fan of that. Maybe that's one reason why I usually don't do full cut crease and maybe I should have cut it a little bit higher. I'm going to try to go in with a more fluffy brush. Let's see if I can take some specks higher up. Because I have hooded eyes, so if I look straight forward to you, you can't see my lid. But maybe that is a nice little surprise. Or maybe, can I, can I like cut it again? Okay, I think I will have it like this. I don't know though if I like it as much. I will go in with <laughs> the shade I had in my crease and on my lid underneath this and blend. I don't think it looks that good if I'm going to be honest. But I guess this is how cut crease is supposed to look. I guess I will go like this because I don't know how I should fix this. So I will destroy the other eyes well because apparently full cut creases isn't my thing. So I will do the same on the other eye, fix my base and then I come back with a finished messy cut crease. This is the finished look for my waterline. I did use peach fast from Colourpop and on my lips I took kernel from Nabla and uh, I have to put these somewhere and I guess I do like this look. I also did take Philosophy, this one in my inner corner with my pinky and yeah maybe a full on the cut crease isn't my thing. But I do think I like it a little bit. I do like a half cut crease more, but now I've done this and yeah, I do like the look and I do like this palette as I said in the beginning. And one thing that I really like and that I talked about in my seven palettes I want to use for spring or whatever I did call it, that you can do a lot of different looks with this one and I think it is a uh, easy palette to do different looks with. You can do a blue, you can do a pink, you can do a brown and yeah I think it's a really nice palette and maybe I do one more look with this I don't know but I'm going to try to use all of the seven palettes I talked about and I don't know which one will be the next one. I will see whatever I feel like. And I'm trying to have this approach now that I just do whatever I feel like. We will see how that will go. And if any of you wonder about my ear things, my plugs, my tunnels. These are from Eros Plugs. I can leave them down in the description. It's a UK based store <laughs> and they do also have an Etsy shop and I have bought a lot of jewelry from them and I do really like these. These are so freaking cute, these little clouds. If you just wonder, it's nothing 
I'm not sponsored, I wish, though I was. But yeah, I do really like them and I know that some of you that watch me have stretched ears and I am thinking about trying to talk a little bit more about that because I know that some of you do wonder. But yeah, that was all for this video. I do really hope you liked it and do you own the Soul Bloom palette? That's all for this video. I hope that you liked this video. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!